Dudes, with draft season around the corner, I wanted to bring back up our sponsor, Trophy Smack. Maybe you heard about Trophy Smack on Shark Tank. We've talked about them a lot. Maybe you heard them from us. However you've heard about them, if you're looking for trophies, belts, rings, draft boards, loser awards, especially draft boards, Trent, I feel like draft boards are really important right now. Absolutely. Check out Trophy Smack. They have all of your fantasy football needs. For 15% off, go to trophysmack.com forward slash dudes. Take your fantasy football league to the next level. This is the Fantasy Football Dudes Podcast. What is up, my dudes? This is Trent with the Fantasy Football Dudes Podcast. I am joined by Phil, Jordan, and Seth. We are doing our quarterback ranking show today. We got some divas, all kinds of fun stuff. We got a sauce, fast food sauce draft coming up later this week. You won't want to miss that. But before we get to today's quarterback rankings, I'm going to kick it over to my dudes, see how their weekend was, do a quick little weekend recap here, and uh, just see how that goes. So, Phil, you have a good weekend? You hanging in there, buddy? I had a great weekend. You know, I just hung out, hung out with a family. I uh, I did some ranch work, so just some work with my dad around the ranch, you know, just helping clean up and take care of Picking some- weeds does not count. <laughs> you know, got some cattle feed, things like that. And then I, I was... I was, uh, you know, I went to a birthday party, a child's birthday party. Trent, I think you know the child, the birthday party yes, we went yes. to. There was a water slide, which I didn't indulge in. I thought about it. There was a good, I wanted, there was a, there was the a word chance. indulge. Like, for the, what? <laughs> for the, for it's the, like, it's like you had to like, not like you had to stop yourself from temptation. Yeah. Like that's yeah, what I it sounds like. I did. I did. Indulge. Are you kidding? No, sorry. Have you ever seen a water slide for once in your life? Seth? So I went down it. Did you really yesterday? You did. Yeah. yeah. Down yeah. So you indulge yourself. I in almost the worst thought way. about I like, playing I, King I'm, of the Hill I'm and just shoving kids thankful. down. I'm actually thankful I didn't see you go down it, but I did think about riding Trent down it. Like that would be a, <laughs> such a great <laughs> talk about indulge. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Wouldn't that have been a great cover art for one of our <laughs> for, one of our, for one of our episodes? Me like riding Trent down the slide. Or vice versa. You Trent, know, you I, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be in that order. <laughs> Trent, you might have labeled this pod uh, explicit. You might have, uh, <laughs> no, no, no. I, this is also content you have to purchase at our <laughs> other site. <laughs> For a simple, for a simple uh, purchase of five dollars, you can see this content. We're me, saying it didn't happen, but we all know it did. Hey, let me just ask you this, Jordan: If you saw a thumbnail on YouTube at TFF Dudes that was Phil, you know, riding on my back on a slide, don't tell me you aren't clicking on. Yeah, that. Yeah, you absolutely you are. Would click that, and then they're going to click looking for the link to what Seth said. Yeah, make sure you have that link true. Correct. You'd click Trent. that. You'd absolutely click that. I wouldn't pay money, but yeah. <laughs> You might indulge yourself in clicking on that link. Yeah. All I'm saying is... Indulge makes it sound way worse, okay? Yeah, the fact that you say- said indulge like it was some sort of like terrible temptation is like... <laughs> well, like, here's the thing. There's a bunch... There's there like, was no, more, one would have, no one would have said agree there were more adults. down with your daughter. No there one, one would more adu- But there were more adults than there were kids at that party. But if you see me topless, I'll say topless... <laughs> riding down the slide you would have been like what is Phil doing you know what i'm saying there was also not more adults than kids at that party no you're right there, there, so, there were a little so humans there. there was, was a, a one-year-old birthday party yeah it was a one-year birthday party i mean between us i have four trent has two seth has two like we have there there's eight kids between us on this pod mm-hmm. like there was way more than that at the party there was like 40 kids there yesterday yeah, you're right, Jordan. There was way more kids. But Trent threw down on the grill, had some tri-tip sandwiches. I, I actually didn't do it. I, I got that catered. You're kidding me. Smoke farm. Yeah, you did a good job. Smoke tri-tip farm. Tri-tip was good? It was delicious. That was tri-tip good. was really good. Delicious. A free sponsor. A sponsor. Give, Give him a, a shout-out, shout out, Trent. Yeah. Shout-out. Give a little shout-out. That was a good tri-tip sandwich. Threw a little bit of barbecue sauce. I had So someone called me out at the, at the party and said, you put mayo on your tri-tip sandwich. I do the same thing. Thank you, Trent. Do you, Seth, do you put no, mayo? No, I'm kind of normal. What do you do, Seth? Uh, Jordan? Just barbecue sauce. Just barbecue normal sauce. Person. No, mayo is pretty good on a tri-tip it's sandwich. It's good. It's good. I like to. I like the spicy barbecue sauce. Sometimes if I can get a hot sauce and mix, if they don't have the spicy barbecue, you mix it with the barbecue. So and sweet make it spicy. Ba- sweet baby rays or no? Like the sweet baby rays bar, a spicy one is what I'm talking. Yeah, about. Yeah, I like that one. Is it's that your favorite? The, yeah. the favorite one. Okay. We yeah. we've been talking about trying stuff, and we're talking about sauces. I have some of Dave's hot chicken sauce here. Do you guys want to try it? Yeah. I've been. I've is been, that you like know. the super hot one? No, this is just the sauce. Okay. This is just yeah, the if I see you sauce. pull a Gideon's army and licking. <laughs> well, you have a fast food draft coming up this week. You guys aren't going to miss that. It's good. Phil, Here, just try just that. Pull, been... pull, a little, pull a little up and I'll just... take a little pinky of it. Just pull a little. <laughs> Don't <laughs> get it on a machine. No, put your no. pinky underneath the. Open your hand. Why on the pinky? What? No, I don't want it on any of the equipment. You make this is riveting content right this here, guys. Okay, that's so... good. That's good. I can feel I it. haven't put any on. Okay, sorry. Right. Well, just tell me, is that good? 
Actually, that's really good. A little it's spicy really good. tangy. It's really good, yeah. So this is Dave's hot chicken. That's Sorry, pretty good. Jordan. Try a little bit of it, Jordan. Seth's had it. It tastes like a spicy version of In-N-Out sauce. It's like a spicier version of Thousand Island, yeah. Like you just In-N-Out said. sauce, yeah. I feel like I get a lot of onion there. <laughs> a lot of oniony taste. There's a little bit of onion in it's it. It's not that spicy, though. Don't throw that spicy Don't let's dip on that sauce, sauce packet when we're cleaning up tonight. That'll make a mess. Honestly, it's Why don't you bring some? You, Wait, it's you, you had not tri-tip spicy sandwiches at all. and you need to bring any sauces. I feel like I had to bring my own barbecue sauce. Seth, did you? There was you, tons of sauce. Wait, we didn't see the barbecue sauce right after it? Hey, Seth, we're doing a podcast. Sometimes you can just lie and say you didn't <laughs> see the barbecue sauce. And you could just lean into it a little bit and just be like, hey, you know what, Seth? You know what, Trent? I didn't see the barbecue sauce, and there was none to be found. I had to go over to my in-law's house to get some barbecue sauce. Yet I tee one up for you, and you just swing and I miss. We called you off for being a liar two times on the spot already. Trent, that's going to be a great Seth, clip. you and I connected Trent, eyes. I thought we were going with something there. Yeah, and you lost each other's eyes. Trent, I can't wait to clip this and for everyone to be like, Phil. Phil's saying, it's okay to lie. Can we just put that right there? It's a Seth, podcast. I it's we okay to lie. Work, I thought we were going to be working together on just that Just like one, all Seth. those pictures of Phil writing Trent, it's just AI pictures. It's not real. <laughs> it's not a bad idea. Uh, it was a good part. Did you, have, good. Did you yeah, set up? How, how do you feel? Did Haley? I, I like sorry. it. Yeah, yeah. No, one year old birthday party. Like I'm not that. Like I, I honestly don't know if she liked it. I think she had a good time. I. Uh, she liked the cake. I. Well, she only ate the fruit off the cake. I don't know. That's do you like? What the hell do you even kid. know if they're having a good time? Like that's. Not I, I thing, wouldn't know. Right? I think she had a good time. She had a good time. Yeah, she had a good yeah. time. Yeah. Seemed like all the kids had. They a had good del- time. There was delicious ice cream. I will say Trent represented well with the ice cream. He had a nice little ice cream cup. The coffee there. ice cream. That the thing is insane. The coffee ice cream was good. So I had a little taste of that. Good. We yeah. had a squat competition. At a there was a squat competition. We don't need to you talk about it. Seth. Seth, did you yeah. see it? I missed it. I'm so sad. there was a squat competition that happened. My cousin Jet and my dad had a squat off. Uh, my dad did 68 squats is what he's claiming. He did, and yeah. I think Jet did about 70. Like they just, Air squats? Air squats. Air squats. Just, no, no, no. It was more like, squats than you. And then Jet hopped up and started started doing them too. Like yeah. it, was, it was a squat off. Yeah. You didn't participate? I was about three quarters of the way through the ice cream that I was eating, so I did not participate. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you could have done 68 air squats? I, I would put myself in the neighborhood of about 100, 115 air squats. Straight <laughs> There's no squats. way. There's <laughs> right no now, way. let's do it, Phil. We'll get this on video. <laughs> Wait, we'll guys, do I, I think I could do 200 I, easy. I honestly so, tried no, no, today. Seth, they're not. It's not. Okay, hold on, hold on. I, let's I tried do this. No, I, I tried it. And I, I'm not lying. Yeah, no, 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 I did 30. I did 30, and I just stopped. I probably, I like, I could have kept doing it. I was like, I won't be able to walk tomorrow. So you you only did 30. And guys, you were keep afraid. in mind, Trent's arm was also sore after pushing his 10-pound daughter on after Swing. stirring oatmeal for five minutes, <laughs> the uh, Except the, scooping ice cream <laughs> into his mouth. I did fifty. I did a. <laughs> I, I did, served two hundred people ice did, cream, I and I couldn't <laughs> walk the next. <laughs> That's so stupid. I did fifty on Thursday, but that was set. So I didn't that do was it so once. stupid. Yeah, are you guys talking about how many you can do without stopping? Without yeah, stopping as fast as you That's can. That's actually a good question. How many people... Like, as fast as you, yeah. No, no, not as fast as you can. How many... It's just in one sitting. No, tempo. It's got to be a tempo. It's got to be a tempo. It's got to yeah. be a tempo. I think I could probably crank out one... I'm not joking either. A hundred... If air I stretched before... Yeah, 100 to 115 like, air squats I could do easily. If I stretched no before... Breaks. No breaks. Like a good tempo, just one. Oh, see, two, I didn't, I didn't, three, I four, didn't stretch five. today, so maybe yeah, that's, that's what a I problem. You got to stretch, and the biggest thing that you forget about stretching is your Achilles. Have you ever stretched that, Trent? Uh, a good no, Achilles no. stretch is absolutely necessary. I think it's for more, more like your, events. like your hamstrings, probably the big one for me. Hamstrings, hamstrings. Yeah. yeah, you're still young though. I'm, I'm getting up there in age. I would say probably. Yeah. So, anyways, it was a good party, right, Trent? Good party, and then we were all there. Yeah, it was had a good, good time. It was a good time, and. Should I just give a diva out for what I have before we get into the yeah, divas and you guys sure. can do them all later? So my diva of the week is I was at the grocery store this week. Okay. And you know, to there's self checkout, you know, if you want to deal with that. And I then there's talk about you being at the samples, but go no, ahead. no, no, that's a, maybe if we had the employee there that I was getting free samples from, they might say I'm the diva for, you know, all those little uh, pizza rolls I ate that day. But uh, no, uh, there's the 15 items or less section. Yep. Person in front of me has like 35 things in their cart. It's like, seriously, like, I don't mind like doing like a little bit above it, but it's like, no, full cart doesn't even care. Like, if you have 20, it's acceptable. Yeah, I think so. And if as they're big items, fast. like, you're if you're close, but no, it's like you're holding up the whole line. So these this people. This is at where? It was actually at HEB in Texas. 
This week. He was this in week. Texas. Yeah. Okay. So, and it was just like, it wasn't just one. There was two people in the line, both with over How many registers? 20- one register for the fifteen items or less. Oh, no, it's not self checkout. It's uh, it wasn't self checkout. It's usually the, not it's how the, fifteen it's items. It's the or short. Less it's the you know what I mean. It's the local grocery store in town. No, it's fifteen not, items or less. It's a self checkout. No, yeah, it, it is. is. Yeah, yes. it is. I did not know that. I didn't yeah, know that maybe at, at Walmart. So you guys have self checkout with a ton of stuff. And I've I, I've never done it with more than twenty items. I do, yeah, at, at Walmart, I'll do self checkout with thirty items because there's no there's no limit. There's no limit, and yeah. there's like fifteen self checkout things at Walmart. So, so is self checkout always? 15 it's items usually or supposed less? to be less at, items at Save Mart. Yeah, at Walmart, no. Oh, okay. So in this situation, the person had you were being served. Yeah, both of them had far over twenty items in their. Well, cart. that's when the employee needs the employee, to say you yeah. can't be. But here. you put the employee in a bad spot because is the employee yeah. really going to say, "Hey, you can't do it." I thought yeah, about well, I, mean, I thought about counting them all like one, two, three, <laughs> it's four, policy. five. You know, like, well, it's not that hard to look. It's not that hard to look though. It's not that hard to look and be I like that's more than fifteen. There's definitely employees who would be just be like, ah, you're in the, you go to the other register. Yeah. yeah. So, so what happened though? These two people went in there and like it just took forever. I was with someone else, and so you couldn't say anything. So I couldn't say anything, and I was just like, you've got to be kidding. Why did you just go the other side? Well, I wasn't the one buying anything. Like I didn't buy anything. I oh, actually had to prove gotcha. a point, went to the self checkout and just bought myself a Gatorade. Not a sponsor. But yeah, then I asked the guy, I said, Hey, why'd it take so long? He's like, Well, both people had over thirty items in their cart and then the last guy, right when they got checked, <laughs> we're about to check out, the person said, I forgot, I need dry ice. So then the person the cashier had to go get dry ice because you have, uh, to have like a so key like to get thirty one items. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> No, yeah, I you think go that's to the fast checkout and then you ask for dry ice. That's like going to self checkout and asking for a, a guy to come get you ice. Yeah, or going to get propane. It's like, can you go unlock the propane for me? It's like, <laughs> oh my goodness, go to the line then. Yeah, that's actually true. It's happened say. to me before. The, the, the dry ice one though is just like you've got to be. Killed. I mean, you're going there's to self checkout to buy propane. Like, come on, bro. There's a major mm-hmm. issue if you. Like, what kind of person do you need to be if you go into the 15 items or less with 30 items? Like, I, I, I think. You're either you either didn't see the sign or you just don't care about other people. There's a, those people are driving in the same car or maybe potentially are the drivers of the people who don't pull off when they're driving slow on a on a on, a, on an uphill drive. You get what I'm saying? The people who don't pull off on turnoffs or the people who think the fast lane is the far right lane. Yeah. Also, just as a follow up, just really quickly here, I had a text message thread with a couple of you guys, and then I went ahead and messaged someone who I know very well who is in law enforcement. Right? Patrols the freeways. Okay patrols the freeways and the highways and i said i have a friend who you know who thinks that if you speed in the slow lane you will get less tickets and his response is absolutely not that is incorrect and then the person that i know trent was also in that group chat and he was trying to argue it and frankly like there was literally no i I would love to ask that guy like hey how many tickets have you given to people that are in the slow lane you were probably a lot chat probably most tickets he gives are truck drivers and they're all in the slow lane. you were in that group chat and you simply could have asked that and yet you chose not to yeah he he replied eight hours later so yeah i guess i could have but i was just kind of like this this group text is he was out giving group text etiquette is a thing you know it's like when he waits so long, it's like you works. probably you probably fed him what to say. It took so long. No, like, you probably no, could have no. Siri text. No, by I that followed time. up with him. I was like, "Hey, just let us know." Like, it, there's a time at some point you get to a point where you have a friendship where you're just like, "This friendship is on the cusp of being over if I don't prove this person wrong." <laughs> <laughs> I wish you would have proved me wrong. Uh, <laughs> anyway, you have an battery. Just read. Yeah, just- yeah no, just uh, proving people wrong. You know, Phil, the modern man's a man takes care of himself. <laughs> Manscaping isn't just a live special occasion. <laughs> it's, 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 it's a requirement for optimal health and spear hygiene and healthy self esteem. You now have the right tools for a safe and precise grooming. So go to Manscaped, enter promo code DUDES20 for 20% off your whole entire order. They got some nice boxers. We got the boxers 2.0 here on the table, the deodorant, all kinds of stuff, cologne, shavers, lawnmower 4.0, weed whackers, soap. I don't know what happy boy's laughing at over there. You know, I really like, want to say something, but I shouldn't. Okay. He indulged. He indulged. Should yeah. I just indulge in yeah. no, he's, he's on their no. website. You make me nervous. Yeah. We're going to have to bleep it out. Yeah, seriously. You gotta watch it's not too there. hard to cut, but... <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Promo Manscaped. code dude twenty landscape. <laughs> it's not too it's hard easy. to cut, like Seth said. So go check that out. Really helps us out, guys. But also, if you want to help us out, remember, don't be rude. Share the dudes. Send this episode to a friend on YouTube at TFF Dudes or Apple Podcast, Spotify, wherever you listen. Just share the dudes. Don't be rude. 
Uh, so we're going to do our quarterback rankings quarterbacks. today. Phil, you're going to kind of be uh, quarterbacking Running this, it. I would say. I'm going to be quarterbacking that- this. And I think probably the best thing to do here, Trent, if you don't mind, I think we probably should just go over last year's finish. Like we should probably just really quickly yeah, just, just go just over read like it off the last quick. Yeah, do that. So I'm going to go from 20 up, okay? So starting at number 20, we had Mariota, we had Kyler Murray, Dak Prescott, Derek Carr, Russell Wilson, Tua, Lamar Jackson, Aaron Rodgers, Tom Brady, Herbert, Goff, Mac Jones, Lawrence, Kirk Cousins, Fields, Geno Smith, Burroughs, Hertz, Allen, and Mahomes. Does that make sense, guys? Yeah. So why is Mac Jones so high? I honestly was confused reading that. I didn't place that in there. I have a friend named but, Trent Jackson who put it in there. So I, it, there's I'm a pretty sure that's Daniel Jones. It's Daniel it's Jones. Daniel Jones. Yeah, it's Daniel Jones, not Mac Jones, Jordan. I don't know why you, your mind went to Mac Jones. It was very <laughs> obviously, <laughs> it was very obviously there, Daniel Jones. I didn't say yeah, it. I, I entered that in there. Yeah, no, Seth said it. Uh, it was very obviously Daniel Jones. I don't know where you got that from. You said Mac Jones. You right said now. Mac Jones. You just said Mac Jones. I think someone put M Jones and deleted it off the sheet really quickly, and I was confused why they did that. It's because I had Mac Jones by default. I don't know why I said Jones. Anyhow, it's Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones at number one. <laughs> wait, wait, this guy's just, such a bad liar too. He's like, just it me. was M Jones, and he said Trent did it, and then it's actually me, and now he's like trying to say Jordan said Mac Jones. And if he's I like, look at this Google sheet, it says. It said M Jones less than a, a minute ago, so I just went. Just a pro tip with Google uh, Sheets: zoom in a little bit. You don't need. It literally sections. never said M Jones. Just for what it's worth. No, you don't need sections you J through Mac Q Jones, on that though. sheet. Yeah, in my head, I was thinking, I was forecasting what he would be this year. Uh, okay. All right, we'll move on. <laughs> Anyhow, so th- that's the order that we went. It was actually Daniel Jones, not Mac Jones at number nine. I don't know where I was going through with that. It's but easy to miss. It's easy to miss. And I think actually Jordan had him there, which is also what threw me off there at his uh, in, in his rankings last year. So, and if you guys want to know, just add, just add, I'm sure you guys are interested in knowing. So the top three, I'm just going to go with number three. So Trent last year had Josh Allen, Justin Herbert, Lamar Jackson. I had Josh Allen. Herbert Mahomes, Jordan has Josh Allen, Justin Herbert, and Patrick Mahomes. So we are all kind of close there. Trent was really the only one off there with Lamar Jackson and and frankly Herbert not good either. Yeah, Herbert there either. So the um, I mean Herbert ended. Where do we have Herbert going? He was did he not end. Herbert finished at eleven. He like finished that's at 11 low there. compared yeah, so to compared where he's compared to where we had him. Three. Yeah, so yeah. we were off. We were pretty off with Herbert and then Lamar Jackson for Trent, but everyone he, else. Lamar got hurt that. too, though. Yeah, for sure. Um, and then Jordan and I also had Tom Brady. So that was in, and Brady ended around twelve, or he ended at twelve. So we're gonna go in this year. I think this year you can trust your dudes a little bit more. Last year was kind of a weird year entering into the year. Um, I think the only weird one that we have probably entering this year, and I think you guys have him at drastically different areas. Uh, I think you guys have him at drastically different areas is uh, Aaron Rodgers. Do you guys want to talk on him? Just a quick bit for a a minute before we go into the actual ranks. Is that all right with you? Yeah, that's fine. You want to talk about where you have him and kind of like why you had him? I feel like that's the only one where we have him kind of in I didn't really know where to put him, Jordan. You're, I think you're the highest on Aaron Rodgers, Jordan. You're the highest. You're the highest. I'm at eight. eight. Yeah. So so you have him at eight. Yeah, I think uh, Seth is the lowest right now. So Seth has him at, where do you have him, 15, and then Jordan's at 11. Yeah, so Trent, you have him at eight. Jordan has him 11, and Seth has him at 15. It feels really weird putting Aaron Rodgers at eight. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel yeah, like I'm I feel I like I'm too high, but I also feel like it's Aaron Rodgers. I don't. You also feel, feel like, like he could have an MB, MVP season. Yes, that's how I feel. It's scary. So can you put your phone on silent? Whoever or just it take off? it off the table. It's true. Well, I'm trying to look like it's not on my computer. So. <laughs> Jordan, you have Keep anything going. you want to say about that Aaron Rodgers? Thing? Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't. We're probably going to get into it more, but just give like just, a brief like, overview. I guess it's hard for me because it's like the he looked really he's looked really bad last year. Not really bad, but not not a top ten QB. But there's a lot of reports coming out like that he's a new guy. Looks like he's on a different level this year. Like he's doing things that he doesn't normally do. So he I looks pretty I jacked. Know. Do you see some of those photos? Like the guy looks like he's working hard. I just worry about somebody who had to go into a darkness retreat and decide if he wants to play football or <laughs> it's not. True. That's it's very true. true. Yeah, but also like, it's just, like, what if he comes out of that darkness retreat and he's just like a 
a new like a, I don't know a like, man possessed. Like, I I just don't know. Like I don't know. That's like, what I'm saying. But didn't what? he? Didn't they come out saying he played with a broken hand like the whole yeah, year? Yeah, he had like, his some fingers, injuries. Like yeah. three of his, some of his fingers yeah. were broken the whole year, and he played through injuries. I just I'm gonna feel really silly if Aaron Rodgers is like a QB three this year, and I only had him at eight. You I just he's the most the hardest yeah, guy. But I think, I, I think I can die on that hill three. though. So what do you guys think? Maybe it changes your mind. Maybe it doesn't. But people are there's rumors right now that Dalvin Cook could be joining the Jets. Have you guys seen that? Doesn't matter. Do, you don't think that helps or hurts your ranking? I mean, I don't think he plays. Like, I don't think he's the guy there. So, like, it's well, they have Brees Hall. I think, I think he's going to get a lot of snaps. I personally think. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think that Dalvin having, Cook's not good anymore. I think he's still decent. I think he's still a decent runner. You don't think so, Trent? I think he's decent. I think you said it right. Yeah, like, I yes. think he's decent. He'd be a good is, goal line guy. He's not every down back. With him and Brees Hall, I actually think that they're probably going to run the ball a decent amount if he happens to go I there. think they run the ball a decent amount anyways. Correct. But I think with Dalvin Cook, they run a little bit more. So that could take away a small amount from Aaron Rodgers. That's all I'm saying. But you want to get into it. So Trent, I think... I guess t- one, one quick point. I worry when the going gets tough if he has any... Like the whole like, yeah, he's excited now. He's on a new team. But like if they start out two and four... And he has receivers dropping balls. Is he going to like gonna want to fight? Like, or are you just gonna be like, ah, I'm I'm over this? You I know? don't think like, they start two and four. I don't think he's I, in that I, situation. I, but I, hypothetically, I mean, look what happened to when he played New Orleans that first game. Didn't they get beat like thirty eight three? Yeah, that was two years ago, right? Two years ago, yeah. and then he made, and then I think he won like what was it four or five yeah straight? I, no i know i'm just i'm just curious like what his mindset really is i don't think his mindset on. changes i think he has no quit in him that's my personal opinion on aaron Rodgers. Trent or seth what do you think um i just don't see i mean Trent trent saying we could feel really dumb if he finishes top three like i really don't see him finishing ahead of the guys that we have listed like i think the highest he's going to finish is like at most, like around the seven eight, like I don't think there's anywhere he goes higher than like he's not. No one's gonna beat Patrick Mahomes. Like no one's gonna be up in that. I think like the top five is almost a he lot. He also to me. he also has zero rushing upside. Yep, he does not run. Yeah, he yeah that hurts him. Look, he sure. look, he has all no this, rushing like all seven quarterbacks we have at the top can rushing. All, have, we'll all have at least five. I rushing could argue touchdowns. eight. There's eight. Yeah, there's, there, I could yeah. argue yeah. like there's like yeah. there's ten guys that have. You're talking rushing about Mac upside. Jones, right? <laughs> Daniel Jones. Yeah. Daniel Jones. Yeah, you're like, talking about. You're including Daniel Jones in there, right? In yeah. The like, honestly, yeah, I no, but like Mahomes, Hurts, Allen, Herbert, Jackson, Fields, Burrow, Lawrence, even Dak. Yeah. Daniel Jones. Uh, even like I Tua. Think, like Tua, Kenny Pickett, like all these guys have more rushing upside than Aaron Rodgers. He has yeah. zero rushing upside. Even Derek Carr. Well, look, before we get into it too much, I don't know about I, Derek yeah, Carr more than Rodgers. I think Derek Carr, will run, Derek Carr will run the ball think, more than Aaron Rodgers. I think Derek, I, Aaron Derek Rodgers Carr, is not I think running still, anymore. I think Derek Carr will still put his head down to get a first down if in the yeah. clutch situation. Aaron Rodgers will but not do that. He'll get the face on the ground like that. Either there's basically viral. no <laughs> r- touchdown <laughs> upside. There yeah. are no They're rushing sliders. There's no rushing touchdown upside with any of those guys. We're like Lawrence, Burrow, Fields, Jackson, Herbert, Allen, Hurts, Mahomes. There's rushing touchdown upside with all those guys. Yeah. Even a touch with Desmond Ritter, I feel like. Oh, we're not having this conversation. <laughs> so why did you even so, say that? So, oh, 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 do we do, so do we want to do top 15? Let's, how do you want to do let's it? Let's all read our our 25 through 13, and then we'll go from there, and we'll just go quarterback by quarterback. So individually, you guys read your 25 through? Just, just read our 25 through 15, or 13, I said. Each of us do. I that. want to talk quite a bit about my thirteen guy, but we can. We yeah, can no. So we'll, we'll, yeah, well, no. We start at thirteen. So I guess twelve. Okay. So, so and do you want to individually read them? You want me to read them? Uh, you can read them all real all quick, right. and then if there's like a huge discrepancy, why don't we, we read our own them. rankings? Okay, that's fine. That's well, totally so, fine. So we'll me. we'll do the di- if there's a discrepancy, we can kind of touch on it. But like last year, we did you know like twenty five all the way through and discuss yep. every single one. And it was I don't long. know if it's yeah, I don't know. And if I, I think need to most people shut us off probably at twenty two, and we were just getting into the good stuff. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we were just yeah, you know, they people shut us were off just at, about to indulge. Yeah, yeah, they <laughs> shut us off at the salad bar. We weren't even to the mashed potatoes yet. So. uh <laughs> we're just getting to the sliced ham all right let's just get into these rankings so trent do you want to start with your 25 yeah i'll go 25 so i had Tannehill at 25 and i guess they're saying that hopkins might be going to the titans 
that's a rumor. They've offered him the best deal. I don't know where he's going to sign yet. Then I have Kyler Murray at 24, Jimmy Garoppolo at 23, Brock Purdy slash Trey Lance at 22, Jordan Love at 21, Kenny Pickett at 20, Mac Jones at 19, Matt Stafford at 18, Desmond Ritter at 17, Russell Wilson at 16, Geno Smith at 15, Derek Carr at 14. Uh, you want to go with what you got, Jordan? Yeah. Um, so I have Baker Mayfield at 25, CJ Stroud at 24, Anthony Richardson at 23, Bryce Young at 22, Tua at 21, Kyler Murray at 20. Um, obviously, I could move him down a little bit more with I didn't realize he's gonna be out for maybe half the year. You had him, you had him higher than everyone else, but yeah, not I terribly high. You had him bit. at twenty. Uh, Deshaun Watson at nineteen, Derek Carr at eighteen, Trey Lance. I, I think it's gonna be Lance starting there, but it could be Brock Purdy. I know May thirty first they said he was getting all the first team rep, first team reps over. Well, Brock uh, Purdy still can't even yeah, throw. Yeah, and he may not be he may not be cleared. To, he's not cleared all of preseason, so Trey Lance is gonna have an opportunity to win that job. Um, and again, he's high for me just because of his rushing upside. Russell Wilson at 16, Geno Smith at 15, and Jared Goff at 14. Trent, I couldn't even imagine ranking Jimmy Garoppolo in a top 25. I'm surprised you had Russell Wilson. I feel like the way most well, people feel about that, Jimmy G, you feel about Russell no, Wilson. No, th- th- I'm giving him a little bit of Sean Payton. There's a little bit of Sean Payton. You're giving uh, a little bit of Sean Payton bump? Boost. He's a top 20 guy, I think. I mean, it's not hard to be a top 20 guy, I mean. Is that don't, are you kind yeah, of shocked actually, to hear that uh, coming out of Jordan? It is kind of it does kind of but shock like me. why why rank and I'm not like I know Seth needs to go but like why rank Jimmy Garoppolo and Ryan Tannehill above these rookie quarterbacks who have more upside? I was thinking just Devontae Adams and tight end stuff. I thought maybe Jimmy G has a decent year. Like zero I, I rushing a, upside though. Anthony Richardson rushing, rushing yeah. upside. Bryce Young's from rushing upside. CJ Stroud rushing upside. Even Baker Mayfield has more rushing ups. Yeah. Baker Mayfield is a better season than Jimmy Garoppolo. Fancy, fancy. You're, that, yeah, that doesn't surprise me. No, I, I'm trying to bet I you I completely right now. forgot yeah. about Baker you Mayfield. You want to bet? I no? love Baker Mayfield, though. But you I don't have him right now. Oh, I, I know. I need, I need to, I need to bet it or not. I forgot about him, but anyways. No, because I love Baker Mayfield. You I don't like have him right I know, because I just need him to you know show me. You so know, I'm like, asking you to put your like money where your ranking is. Last year, I had Baker Mayfield at 17. Look what he did to me. Trent, so you don't want to bet a guy who you don't even have ranked in your top 27 and I'm asking. Sure, I'll egg bet at you, but it's like, why are we egg betting? We still need to make the egg bet video. Yeah, we don't have the, to egg bet. We can put the guy was busy setting here. up for a kid's birthday party, and he forgot yeah, Baker it, Mayfield. Right, Trent? Is that what you would say? Yeah, yeah, basically, <laughs> basically, I was <laughs> indulging. So, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll do. Uh, yeah, I'll are do, you gonna egg bet? I'll do egg bet five bucks, whatever you want to do. That's fine, me. Let's just get a bet on paper. Like, that's okay. We need to. Here's the thing, Jordan. I think you should keep track of the bets. I think you do a better job than I do. That's actually not a bad idea. Jordan is good; does a good job at keeping track. You're basically of the, bets. the pod bookkeeper, you know. Yeah. And, you know, like bookie, bookie, yeah, bookie, bookie, is bookie. Right, uh... wookie. All right, uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, Seth, go ahead. Let's get here. Your top. All right, let's five. go. So Twenty-five um, to thirteen. A lot of mine are very similar to Trent because the I one, really the thirteen has the one and then the three after it. Okay. Um, <laughs> That was just the dumbest thing I've ever heard. But uh, 25, I have Ryan Tannehill, uh, Kyler Murray, Jimmy Garoppolo. Then it goes to Brock Purdy at 22, uh, Jordan Love at 21, Kenny Pickett at 20. I think this is going to be a fun year to watch Kenny Pickett. Uh, glove boy then we got mac jones at 19 that just seems ugly i don't know why i copied trent there yeah anyways and then i got russell wilson at 18 i think i'm my, you're the lowest no, i'm the lowest wow the lowest, okay um then i have Derek carr at 17 matt stafford i think i'm the highest on with matt stafford here at 16 uh dak prescott at 14 oh yeah that's, that's you missed aaron thinking. Rodgers at 15 i think and aaron Rodgers at 15 yep that's right you're kind of low on Man, I didn't. I didn't rank Matt Stafford. Maybe that's a mistake. I think that is a mistake because Cooper Cup is going to carry that guy. Yeah. Well, I that was. I think it was wise listing Matt Stafford. I think they're going to throw a ball a ton still. Like, I, I think L. A. Like surprisingly is not going to be even close to how bad they were see, last year. I felt like, like I think they're going to be actually like they'll be decent. They're, I think they'd be pretty good contenders. This see, year. Jordan, I felt like I have Stafford too low because he was hurt the whole season last year when he was playing. Anyways, like I, you rank Desmond Ritter, Trent. 
Yeah, Trent. I, I want to actually talk one. about Desmond Ritter. Yeah, seventeen. I, I, that's I crazy. Admit, I overlooked Matt Stafford. I should probably have him about. Okay, I overlooked. No, but uh, Trent. Trent is a. I like Ritter. I think yeah. I'd put if I re ranked him, I would put Stafford right above in between Deshaun Watson and Kyler Murray at twenty. So I don't but, think I put Watson on here either. I think Ritter has a really good. Uh, there's some rushing upside there. Ritter also the Falcons offensive line's pretty good. Their left guard's a rookie. Their center's good, and I think their right tackle. Well, they're going to run good. the ball. We all know Trent know. thinks the Falcons have the top five offense in and the league. Then, uh, so he loves the Falcons. I like their pass catchers. I like Kyle Pitts and Drake London. I and Bijan. Bijan's going to be a and pass Bijan catcher. helps a lot. A I cat- think I think they're going to put Bijan out in the slot. Also, you, you're forgetting one thing though. What he sucks at throwing a football. Give him an off season, man. Give him an off season. Let him like you've based that off of how many games? Four. Yeah, and all the games I watched him play. He's only played four games, and it was when Marcus Mariota just did. At Cincinnati. Some you some people watch college football on Saturdays? I don't know. I feel like the, the actual NFL games that you actually gave him, I'm not trying to defend here, Trent. Honestly, I'd rather do anything else than do that. But I feel like you watched him in four games. You know what I'm saying? But he couldn't. He wasn't He wasn't really good. At and, and for what it's worth, it was fair. You, you, you didn't rank I think Watson. 17, but I, I think, think Desmond Ritter I above rank, Matt Stafford Watson. is no, but I'm saying wild. Like you, don't, you don't feel good about Watson yeah. if, after seeing him after five yeah. games is what I'm saying. I think Jimmy Garoppolo has a better season than Desmond Ritter. We'll see. We'll see. I like I, I like the rushing upside. I think uh, what's their head coach's name? That guy just dials up rushing games. You know, like he can make any running back look good. He has Bijan now. Uh, Tyler Algier will probably get some some touches. Put Bijan out in the slot. You have Drake London, Bijan, Kyle Pitts. Like I think the play action is going to be really good. And I think Ritter gets some decent rushing has a decent rushing ability. Also horrible defense, so he's going to be out there a lot. So I'm. I like the opportunity he he's putting himself he's in. I mean, well. Mariota finished twenty last year without I, I without a decent offensive line. I don't think they had the offensive line they're going to have this year, and they didn't have as many weapons that they had last year. And Trent well, has weapons. Him. They just added Bijan. I think that helps a lot. You don't think Bijan's going to help? Like I think Bijan's going to be really good this year. They're going to stack the box and they're going to make him throw. And if they're going to be down in games, so Trent he's has him throw three. He has him three up on Mariota, so he has him at seventeen. Mariota at twenty, and Mariota Mariota did have a couple goal line. I believe he had a couple. He the only the way couple Desmond Ritter gets line. seventeen is if he has a crazy, crazy good rushing year, which is possible. Well, see, I think if he has a crazy good rushing year, I think he might be higher than seventeen. But you get what I'm but saying? It just Mariota depends what I agree. Is. Yeah, I, I'm just throwing it out there. Um, Jordan, I was surprised you don't uh, have Sam Howe on here. That's another one. I, I kind of kind of slipped my mind. I I should have ranked all 30, 30 quarterbacks, but um, I feel like a lot of these guys. Once you get down to like honestly, at like seventeen, it kind of it's be like they're all the same. It's almost a wash. It it, it's bit. hard. Like, it's hard. That's why I almost copied Trent like from eighteen down. Like yeah. that's you the could, first time like, Trent's honestly, homework would be copied. Trent, you could say <laughs> I've think, never been copied before. <laughs> it's fine. Like honestly, outside of like, I don't want to have any quarterback below thirteen. I really don't. Honestly, like, absolutely. Outs- outside of like Jimmy G or like Desmond Ritter, like maybe Mac Jones. Like <laughs> I, I would. You could tell me anybody. Like Sam Howe. Yeah, you could make a case for Sam Howe being a top twenty quarterback. I, yeah. I wouldn't shock me. But what about Anthony Richardson? Is he the one guy that falls out of the top 20 who you're like, I can kind of flirt Honestly, with the idea of I having ranked, him? I ranked, you guys didn't have these guys really ranked, so I was like, oh, I'll just rank the rookies yeah, like, so we can talk about Like Richardson, but, Richardson. But is, do you know what I'm saying? He's the one really who you can yeah. kind of so flirt Trent, with. You got okay, what I'm saying? Okay, Trent, here's my issue. You have all this upside Desmond Ritter. Why don't you have Anthony Richardson just ranked there? Because I, I, I'm valuing the offseason, and I think he has better weapons. But 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 I but, do like okay, Richardson so What's too. the difference between Jonathan Taylor and Bijan? Uh, I think the Colts have a better offensive line than the Falcons. Okay, and the Colts have well, who's that? They got the uh, they have Michael Pittman, um, which I know he's not yeah, like Alec Pierce, Alec Pierce, Isaiah McKenzie, Josh Downs, rookie wide receiver. Um, they have some decent tight ends: Jelani Woods, Malali Cox, Kylan Granson. Like I, I don't see, and Anthony Richardson has is way more talented than Desmond Ritter. Oh yes, as yeah, way more talented. I just think I, I'm ex, I'm excited for Ritter, and I don't know if I'm, I, I want to see a little bit more for the rookies before I just throw them out there. Are you going with your hard you rank, on seventeen? Trying to rank Malik Willis too. 
<laughs> Stupid. <laughs> What'd you say, Phil? Are you going? You, Trent is is a, is a Falcons truther. I think this year. I, I do. I You're am. like borderline. Like, what? Can I get you like over over under seven and a half wins? Can I get you on that one? Yeah, I'll take over and under. I'll take over seven and a half wins. I'll take that. Uh, what's the NFC line, NFC, I st- <laughs> NFC, <laughs> NFC South? Like, yeah, the, why not? Why would you not take every team in the NFC South over seven and a half? Let's, let's look at their win total. Hold on. I think you're right about right there, Jordan. I I, no, I think you are. I think it was six and a half is what it was when we yeah, did that. It's pod. not too far off what you said. I was just laughing because remember Phil when he took the the Jets. Uh, that was the easiest bet I ever won. It was seven and a half for the Jets seven that and year, half. right? Easiest bet. And I, I ever think won. they won four that year. Oh. We probably do need to keep. Yeah, keep we need to move in, with moving this. along here. Okay, so let me let me move on here. So. Do you want it? Do you want to just go thirteen through ten really quickly? Yeah, I feel like we can go thirteen through ten, and then we talked a decent amount from our from our twenty five to thirteen. So yeah, do you want to go through your thirteen we'll to ten? We'll do that. So I got okay. two at thirteen, Daniel Jones at twelve, and Deshaun Jots, Deshaun Watson at eleven, and Jared Goff at ten. Jordan, what you, or Seth, you go. Jordan's on the. Okay, I have um thirteen. I have Jared Goff, or sorry, Dak Prescott. No, I mean I am Gino. Sorry, Gino. <laughs> One guys, fall by the let, three. I know, but I'm. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are so dumb. <laughs> Geno Smith at 13, Jared Goff at 12, and Tua at 11. Uh, you know, I think I might be a little too high on Tua, but I think, like, he has, like, those two guys that can carry him the whole way. I want yeah. to be higher on Tua. I'm just nervous about him getting hurt. I think if he doesn't get hurt, I think he does perform better that, than Jared Goff that's and Geno. That's why I can't put him up. I feel like I'm low on Geno, too, but also, like, I'm not the most confident in the Seahawks, even though he had an insane season last year. Well, has, Jordan, you, Jordan has him all the way down at 21. Jordan, do you want to give yours and then talk about Tua a little bit? No, Jordan has Geno at 15. Sorry, I thought you said Tua that you were talking about. Oh, Seth. sorry. Uh, Trent, before we move on, eight and a half. I'll take the under. Eight you want the half. over? That's the line right no, now. No, no, you no. Said you said seven, seven and a half. half. You said seven and a half. Seven and a half's a way yeah, better no. deal. Do you like how this guy tried to <laughs> yeah. slide back in? <laughs> on eight and a half? No, no, no. No, hold on. <laughs> That's I, the line. Yeah. That's no, the line, no, 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 no. You said seven and a half. Seth, you heard it. Two's a witness. Three's a crowd. Do you want seven and a half, Jordan? Yeah, I'll take seven and a half. Ooh, he's taking the under. He's, he's going to a game below the line, Trent. Take it. Yeah, I went over. Okay, good. All right, cool. Uh, so, so uh, Jordan, you want to give your 13 through 10 real quick here? He's, he's documenting. It, okay. Yeah, I got it. Um, the pod scribe. Has, <laughs> it has been written. Okay, so, thir- okay, so 13, I'm gonna, 13 through 10, you said? Yeah. Yes. So, okay, can, I have Kenny Pickett at 13, Daniel Jones at 12, Aaron Rodgers at 11, Kirk Cousins at 10. But I know I have him ranked, uh, Daniel Jones at, and Kenny Pickett at 12 and 13, but honestly... If I were drafting these guys, I think I'm drafting Daniel Jones and Kenny Pickett over Cousins and Rodgers. I think Cousins and Rodgers are a little bit more safer, but the I upside. I love Kenny Pickett this year. Like I honestly think that Kenny Pickett's going to be I didn't like it like part of me thinks Kenny Pickett's going to be a top 10 QB, a QB1 this year. Honestly, once you get the like that 10 through 15 spot right there was like the hardest part for ranking for me. I didn't like really know where to put guys i really like kenny pickett too even though i have him at 20 like it's just like what I, why do you have desmond I, I keep going back to you have ritter mac, mac jones ranked above kenny pickett i've heard some good buzz about uh mac jones where i'm kind of like hearing stuff so, and when i did this they were acting like hopkins was gonna go okay. to the patriots okay, okay and okay. now there's like i don't know where i want to put ryan Tannehill if Hopkins goes to the Titans. Maybe he deserves to be bumped a little bit more than I have him at 25. But yeah, the day I did this, which was about two weeks ago, uh, they were talking about that uh, Put possibility Hopkins right was going to probably go to the Patriots. I was like, man, if if uh, Mac Jones has Hopkins, I probably should have updated that, looked through it a little harder. This um, So like Kenny Pickett had two, 2,400 passing yards in 12 games. Uh, his, let's see, he didn't have like the best... He had seven touchdowns, nine interceptions, so not like the best, but his completion percentage was sixty three percent. Like he didn't have one game last year where he finishes a QB one. Yes, but I like his his rushing. I mean, he had two hundred fifty five attempts, two hundred thirty seven yards, three touchdowns. So if he can get that up to like maybe five, six past six rushing touchdowns, I just I think he's really I think he's pretty talented. I think that offense is going to be really pretty good. I think they're all going to take like a step, a step up. Um, I think I think uh, George Pickens will be be a lot better this year. Deontay Johnson is still there. 
Uh, I'm missing. I'm forgetting somebody who. Yeah, they fireman. They, so they signed Allen Robinson. We'll see if he can have like a little yeah. bit of a bounce yeah. back. And he doesn't need to be great, but like if he can be like a guy there, uh, Fryermuth, um, and Trey. You love Najee Harris. So I like, love Najee. So like I think this offense is, is fairly solid. Um, and I, I just, I kind of like, I like Kenny Pickett a lot. I think he has pretty decent rushing upside. He got those 12 games under his belt. Um, this what you season, just described, though, hold on. What you just described, though, is basically the exact same as Desmond Ritter. Except though. Kenny Pickett can throw a football. And Kenny, Kenny, Pickett, football. Kenny Pickett has the third smallest hands on this I, pod. You kind of just basically described the exact same weapons as Desmond Ritter. I think Kenny Ritter. Pickett's good, and I don't think Desmond Ritter is. Okay. Like, it all go, you but can, you have to admit the weapons are similar. Sure, but Phil, you know what? If you had all, <laughs> you had a bunch of NFL weapons, you wouldn't succeed in the NFL either. So, oh, well, well, you might well, have Jerry Rice. Who knows? We don't know. This is the only college athlete on the pod. This is the only college athlete on the pod. Jordan. How dare you? Phil Thank could you, kick. Seth. Yeah, that's right. Phil, would you have 100 passing yards in an NFL game with Tony Gonzalez at tight end, Jerry Rice, Jerry Rice, and uh, give me another receiver, uh, all timer. Uh, Jerry Rice. No, we'll go. No, we'll go. We'll go with DK Metcalf. We'll just sure. go. Jerry Rice and DK okay, Metcalf. So no, what, change it. Would he complete one pass? <laughs> so you sorry. Would he complete one pass? 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 Five yard pause, slant, and you're pause. good. What defense am I playing against? A normal, an average NFL defense. And I'll give you uh, Ladanian Tomlinson <laughs> a running back. So stupid. <laughs> Could you complete one pass? Yes, absolutely. Wait, yeah, throw one, pants, one pass? He threw for 100 yards. I could close I could my throw eyes. For one yeah. I could close who is, my eyes who is throw the, two yes. No, yeah. yeah. no. Who was the guy in the Broncos that, like, during COVID, that he was like... He could the, not complete a Danny pass. Danny Woodhead. No. 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 Oh, sorry, the, it was um, the receiver. He had to come in. Oh, yes. He yeah. could not complete, complete a pass. I actually played him in my flex that Did week. Did he go, like, one for 11 or something? Kendall Hinn? I watched Ian Book. Kendall Hinn. I watched Ian Book, a guy who played quarterback his whole entire life, come in and barely complete any passes. Yeah. Here's the thing. My scrambling abilities are probably... I this think is you a dumb would, conversation. I, Move on. <laughs> stop. Stop. All right. All right. No, but so I, I just... So, I but do like, you get what I'm saying? The weapons like... Yeah, the, I like Kenny Pickett. I like Daniel Jones, too. I think the Russians' upside's there. I think it's an improved offense. Another year under the, under the system with uh, Dable. So, I, I like Daniel Jones. I like Kenny Pickett. I have Aaron Rodgers and Kirk Cousins ranked just above them just a tad. I think they're a little safer, but I think the upside, the ceiling of Jones and Pickett... And I, I just really like Pickett a lot this year. I think okay. Cousins can potentially finish higher than 10. It's weird because Daniel Jones finished his QB9 last year. He only was a QB1 in week 7, week 11, and week 17. He was, he was QB1. He was, he was pretty just consistent, consistent with rushing. Yeah, but I just expected more QB1 performances he out of Daniel Jones. He had a uh, couple huge spike games, too. And he was throwing to no one. No, the three, yeah, those those were all spikes that I told you. Yeah. It was I think he had like three, three four, rushing one. touchdowns like in those games yeah. or something crazy. So let's, I mean, if we're moving on here, do we want to go nine Seth, through did you six? Read oh, yeah, you did. I did, yeah. yeah. So why don't, we go, why don't we go nine through six, and then we're probably going to go pretty slow from five through one, right? Yeah. What so, do you got, where do you have Goff, Jordan? Just, I am at 14. Okay. So me and Trent are pretty, Trent has him at 10, I have him at 12. So I'm going nine here. You said nine through six. Phil? Nine through six, yeah. So I got Dak Prescott at nine, Aaron Rodgers at eight, Trevor Lawrence at seven, Justin Fields at six. Jordan, you want to go from nine to six? Yeah, I got Dak at nine. Again, like I think I could flip Dak and Kenny Pickett, flip Dak and Daniel. I I think Pickett, Jones, Rodgers, Cousins, Dak. It's hard to like differentiate for me between the two of them. Um, I'm giving Dak the benefit of the doubt. I think a little bit yeah. here at nine. Well, and he missed what four games last yeah, year. Yeah, I'm just giving us the benefit of the doubt. Um, Trevor Nine's Lawrence, kind of where he's always finished. Yeah, I got Trevor Lawrence at eight. I think you could flip him and him and Burrow, who I have at seven. But I think they're, I think Burrow Lawrence are kind of in a tier of their own. I think there's a tier from. So I got, I got Lawrence at eight, Burrow at seven, Justin Fields at six. I kind of feel like there's like three or four tiers here, in about the top fifteen, like one through three is a tier of their own. Four through six is kind of a tier of their own. Lawrence and Burrow tier of their own, and then for me it's like Dak through Kenny Pickett are kind of in a tier of their own. Like, I'm, okay. I'm gonna have to bump everyone a spot because I, I don't have Burrow. I don't have Burrow. Okay, I had okay. Burrow at like two, then I had him at three, oh, and I forgot yeah. to put him back on there. But I kept moving him so much. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to bump everybody a spot. Yeah. So where are you gonna put Burrow? At? I think I'm gonna put him at. 
I'm gonna put him at four. I think yeah, I'm the highest on Burrow. Oh, at three, wow. I think. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, let's I let's let Seth him. let's let Seth go. So Seth, we're nine through six. Okay, yeah, I have yeah, Daniel yeah. Jones at nine. I actually really, I actually wouldn't mind getting Daniel Jones on my team this year. I think it'd be fun to have Trevor Lawrence. Obviously, everyone knows he's going to be good. Justin Fields is obviously fun to watch on a terrible team. He's going to run the ball a ton. Justin Herbert, kind of hoping for that bounce back season. So we'll see. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I I threw, I know Trent threw Burrow in, and you had him, Jordan. You have him at seven. Do you want to just talk about Burrow a little bit because we have him? Yeah, no, kind of I all over there a little. I bit. the like, lowest on him. Yeah, I like Burrow. It's just the rushing. I think there's not as much rushing upside for him as some of these other guys. Okay, and Don't it's so, just tough. Like I'm not like I. I it's, it's there's no. It's not like I'm uh, nothing against Joe Burrow. It's just more no. like I like some of these guys better. Well, you have maybe Justin I'm Herbert too, at four. Maybe I'm too high on Justin Herbert. I just think his rushing upside is a little bit better. Um, I put I, Burrow at five for what's worth. Would, it wouldn't be a shock to see him regress a little bit. He ended yeah, up, and I just. Like you Burrow didn't so, have so, like so. a crazy. He didn't have crazy, but I'm just looking at his QB one weeks last year. I mean, I guess his two spots really regressing. Yeah. Like it, all I'm saying, Burrow finished at four guys, four. right behind Hurt. That's what I'm saying. I don't. I wouldn't be yeah. surprised if he dropped a couple this year. Like yeah. I think where, where did Herbert still, finish last year? He finished at uh, 10, low, nine, 10, 11. 11. Like yeah, that's low, man. And he wasn't hurt. Yeah, here's his the receivers thing. got hurt, here's but he's other, playing with the same core again. Yeah, here's they have the a new thing. coach, though, and they, and they drafted a. They have a new coach, right? Yeah, uh, offensive Chargers? coordinator. No, the Chargers have a new offensive coordinator. Yeah, just offensive, offensive coordinator. Yeah. yeah, and then uh, they drafted another receiver. And but but the thing with Herbert, his weapons were hurt all last year. That's right. Yeah, that's, that's what, what he said. That's yeah. just kind of a Chargers. But the thing is, though, like that's a though. very potential thing to happen again. That's why I'm lower on him. Here's what I'll say about Joe Burrow. This is what I'll say about Burrow is he seems to play better. At the end of the season, for whatever reason, two years ago when they went to the Super Bowl, he, he had an okay year, but he like caught fire towards the back half of the season. Last year, he finished. Even this year, he was good. Yeah, but he end. even like I don't know. He 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 this had like QB eighteen, out. then QB five, QB eleven, QB seven, QB one, QB one, QB twenty, QB eight. You know, like he's kind of all over the board. So, I'll be honest. I have no problem if Joe Burrow ends up on my teams. So I, it's not like no, I, no, yeah, I just not. it's you're splitting so many hairs with these guys. Like I think I what you're it, looking for is the consistent running upside, which is yeah. going to be produced consistently every game. I think Herbert has a big ba- bounce back season. I think that's. I think I hope on so. Herbert. Honestly, I want I want it to happen. Where do you have Herbert, Jordan? I'm at four. Yeah, I'm at four. Has Seth read his list? No. Yeah, he I did. did. Read do you want to just go the five through five through one here? Let's go five. Yeah, we can go five. Uh, let's go five through three. That, maybe that's silly. Maybe we should just go. I five think you just go all five. Yeah, because I think it's. I okay. mean, yeah. So, Trent, go ahead. I, I have Joe Burrow at five. I have Jalen Hurts at four. I have Patrick Mahomes at three. And I have Josh Allen at two. And I have Lamar Jackson at one. I, this one boggles my mind. Yeah, Trent, honestly, it's just dumb. I think he just recopied and pasted. Go ahead, Jordan. I got Lamar at five. Then I got. Herbert four, Josh Allen three, Jalen Hurts two, Patrick Mahomes one. I I, I think Hurts. I think Trent having Hurts at four is insane. But go ahead, go ahead, so. Seth. Where, would, where do you have him? Go you Seth. Hold on, go Hold Seth. On. Okay, so I have Lamar Jackson at five, Joe Burrow at four, Jalen Hurts at three, Josh Allen at two, Mahomes at one. I think Mahomes and Allen can sort of flip, and I think Hurts is going to kind of finish around. I don't know, man. I feel like the top three are just so interchangeable. It's crazy. I, I, I think you can make case for Jalen Hurts at one. Yes, absolutely. I think so can. too. I don't if he, if he doesn't. I don't think he gets hurt or he, like he does, no. or they don't give him that time off. I think he wins MVP. Oh, absolutely. Can we just hear why Trent has Lamar Jackson yeah, at one? Yeah, first? yeah. Let's just yeah. hear the, the giant I think elephant. This in the is, room. I think this is a Lamar Jackson revenge tour. Like I think he's he's coming off that injury. I don't really think he was hurt. I think it was just like I'm going to get better. I'm going to get paid. Now he has more weapons. Like I'm not talking about OBJ. I'm talking about uh, what's in the receiver they draft. I just think he has more weapons finally to throw the ball to. I think he's going to run more. Munkin throws is a little more pass heavy than what he's had. So I think it's be more backyard football with Lamar Jackson. I think this is the. I think he's really going to be running the ball a lot this year, running around making things happen. So you think with a big deal, he's going to run more. I think so. well, no. I think they're going to pass more, so it's going to lead to him running more. Okay, okay. It's going to be saying. less designed runs. I think it's going to be more broken run. plays. Gotcha. It's going to be like the Jalen Hurts kind of runs. 
on broken plays. Yeah, but I think Jalen Hurts has more. He's design a, Jalen runs. Hurts has a lot of design runs, but a lot of his broken run, broken pass yeah. runs were like all his big like, run, good you, runs. You, you know? still have Mark Andrews. You still have Isaiah Likely had some decent games last year. Uh, and those receivers they added, what's the Pitt guy they got? Not Pitt, Boston College. Zay Flowers. Zay Flowers. I think Rashad Bateman is serviceable when he has a good quarterback. Like, I think they just have a bunch of just okay. Like, I'm not, I don't have him here because I'm OBJ. Think, I think, I think they need another receiver, though, like to be in that, like, for him to finish one. That's just my opinion. I just, but. I think that's a good team they have there. And, what was it? Two years ago was the MVP, or is that three years ago? I think it's three. Yeah, I, I think more I, than two. I think now that he's happy and he's paid, I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna have a lot better bounce back here. That's why I put him at one. Okay, I mean, I just, I, I just have a hard time thinking that anyone's gonna beat the guys me and Jordan have at three, top three. Yeah, I, I, I like. I it. just think Patrick Mahomes is always gonna be Patrick Mahomes, and if he's anything less than what he has been, he's gonna be still top five. Josh Allen, obviously, everyone knows who he is. Jalen Hurts I, could potentially yeah. win MVP this season. I think those three are in tier of their own. Maybe even rev- like a man what I said before. I think you could almost say Herbert, Jackson, Fields, Burrow, Lawrence are in tier of their own, and then yeah. it's the rest. And like, I think that's I think that's fair. I think like, the top seven, top eight are hard to crack. Yeah, I don't see anyone crack. Like it's going to take like a crazy good rushing season or injury or what injury. A, we didn't really talk about Justin Fields. No. Like he was another guy that I kind of wanted to put up a little higher. He finished at six last year. I mean, look at his DJ, rushing, his rushing has, yards last year were insane. He has DJ Moore now. It's just like who are you ranking him above? That, yeah, that's no, yeah, like, it's, it's no that whole top right there. Like it wouldn't surprise me if any of those guys really finished one. Like this it would year. not shock me if Justin Fields was like the. It would shock me if he broke in the top three, but like if he was a four, it wouldn't. shock It just me. depends how much he runs and if he can stay healthy. He yeah. really has to stay healthy. I mean, if you look at him through week six, he had tw- he was ranked 23, 28, 32, 25, 12, and then nine. And then he dropped to five, five, one, one, seven, didn't play, five, didn't play, seven, 25, and nine. Then he didn't play week eight. I would like to see a little bit more passing by. upside from him, though. Yeah, and I think they kind of helped a little bit so with David, DJ Moore there. And David Montgomery's gone. Who's the running back there now? Khalil Herbert, and then they got Rosh, Rosh gone. What's the Texas backup? Roshan Johnson. Roshan, Roshan Johnson, okay. Because, like, let's assume that he doesn't have... Do he goes for 1,000 yards rushing again? Justin Fields? I think so. I think he has I to. I, I don't think there's... A, unless so like there's he, injuries always a Because here's the crazy thing. He only had 17 passing touchdowns. He had eight rushing touchdowns. I like to see him get up into like he's gonna get up in like the twenty five, the twenty five passing touchdowns in order to like really crack that. Yeah, top. you're right. He's have to. If he can throw for play. like three thousand yards, so like seven hundred fifty more yards, and about seven eight more passing touchdowns, then he turns into like Jalen Hurts territory, mm-hmm. like elite elite. Because Jalen Hurts, I think had Jalen Hurts. Had, I mean, he did. He had seven hundred rushing yards last year, and like. 13 rushing touchdowns and throws for like 25 or 30. He threw for more than that. Let's talk about like fantasy quarterbacks. Like we've kind of talked about this a lot. Like you going to take quarterback in the third round here. Are you going to wait, you know, you're going to try to 22, wait as long as 22 you can? passing touchdowns for Hertz last year. Okay. But 30, 3,700 yards. So like way up on the yards. So anyway, yeah, it's because they, he just ran it in when they were close or gave it to a running back. Yes. Yeah. A lot of goal line carries. A lot, ton of goal line stuff for the Eagles. And sorry, Trent. It's like where you're taking a quarterback. Uh, yeah. I just, that's the thing that I keep like, is this going to go, are we going to revert back to like, Hey, you can wait on quarterbacks, get them in the 10th, 11th round. And you know, you're just like everyone else. Cause when I look at this PFF, when I look at this PFF uh, chart here, like quarterbacks from Herbert was 10 and Herbert got hurt last year. That rib injury that had to. Yeah, and he had no year. weapon. Yeah, but like ten, Herbert had two QB one weeks. Jared Goff had one, two, three, four QB one weeks, and he was you know the eleventh QB. <laughs> Tom Brady only had two. Uh, Aaron Rodgers had none. But I'm just I'm looking at this where you wait it, guys, and it's like it used to be like, hey, I got my quarterback in the twelfth round, and he finishes a QB one, you know, four times this year. That's okay or five. Like he was right there. It, yeah, like, but the, you look at is, this chart here, and it, there's like not a lot of green after QB seven. Okay, you, but my counter to that Trent would be: what's the margin between like QB yeah, eight true. and QB twelve? Is it five points? Well, then it's hard to like really 
Like, yeah, I'd have to look at the points. I feel like it was bigger than that, though. But like, even if it's ten, like I, it's just hard because. Uh-huh. Do you feel like you're most comfortable probably going with Josh Allen and Jalen Hurts compared to what they had last year, Trent? Like, if you look at how many times they were QB1, if you look at them, they're a lot more consistent than even Patrick oh, Mahomes when yeah. we talked about QB1, and he finished number one. Consistency on that. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, like Josh Allen was QB1. It seems like a lot more than, yeah, a lot more than Mahomes was. Even though he didn't finish total the same as Mahomes, he was a lot more consistent, and so is Jalen Hurts for that matter. Yeah, Jalen Hurts, I think, is the most consistent quarterback on this list of past last year. Top and finishing Being top more five. more consistent than Mahomes? Well, he just finished like top five. Like he finished QB 14 in week four. Other than in week 13, he was week six, he was, week, he was QB 13. Other than that, he's like top five every yeah, single right. week. Like his just consistency is there. Like if you're gonna be, but like let's be honest, we're also splitting. Yeah, yeah. But when Mahomes is finishing QB one, QB two, well, he's throwing for Hertz way more yards. Also missed, missed, Hurts missed two games. That's true. So, yeah. Yeah. Three Hurts, games, three yeah. games, and Mahomes uh, do two games. Yeah. Sorry, two games. Well, it, kind of three. Like that week eighteen was yeah. kind of a weird one. Mm-hmm. So I'm just saying, like that consistency for Jalen Hurts is a lot more there. Do you know what I'm saying? So picking him even number one. Uh, I mean, picking him in round two probably not terrible. Well, I think the the top three quarterbacks that we, that I guess, I think those top three might all go in round two and three. Yep. Yeah, you can make an argument that Mahomes or Hurts can be picked. Like you want to be, very you want to be picking right after two. the guy who picks the first quarterback. Because I don't want to be the first guy to take the quarterback, but I kind of don't mind being. And you like, want that guy to pick Mahomes, and then yeah. you can get hurt. Yeah. Almost. I Who's ca- the guy that you're like happy with if you have to take someone in like the tenth, eleventh round, and he's your QB. Let's do, like assume you're you don't name. want him to let's answer that question. I think you can get Riddle. you might be able to get Daniel Jones. No, no, no. Let's Desmond assume, Ritter. Yeah, I, 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 <laughs> let's assume you're in a twelve team quarterback, a twelve team league. Okay. And and we have nobody who is taking two quarterbacks in a draft, right? Like let's assume everyone's drafting one quarterback. Okay. Which I know for some leagues it's it's hard to assume that. But who is like your favorite guy you could get? It's like, hey, I'm the last person picking a quarterback. And I can get whoever I want because no one else is drafting a quarterback. I can wait as long as I want. Who's the guy that you think? I'm like, kind of out of it. I'm kind of out of it, but I'll just say Daniel Jones. I kind of, I it's That's Daniel it's Jones. Kind of Daniel Jones, Kenny Pickett for me. That's the two guys who I think had the ceiling to be like, hey, I drafted them in the twelfth round. They can get me to a fantasy championship. Those two guys. I don't think Rodgers and Cousins can, and even Dak to a degree. I would do Dan. I think Daniel Jones, and then I might for like an insurance. I see when you get a guy that late, I kind of like getting that second guy just to see if maybe one of them ends up going. Yeah, off. I'm just saying hypothetically, yeah. you know, if you just had, you, I think Daniel Jones, it's Daniel I'm, Jones, Kenny yeah, Pickett. And I'm willing to take a gamble on Watson as my, especially as a QB two. I don't know how I feel about as a one, but like you get Daniel Jones and you have Watson to back him. I think Watson's going to go before Daniel Jones, though, don't you? What, what do you think on that? I think that'd be you fun. have Watson ranked pretty high. I'm at 12. Yeah. The one thing I'll say in home leagues, Jordan, just hear me out. Home leagues, you might be able to get Trevor Lawrence that late. You think people take Dak over Trevor Lawrence? I think so. Yeah, there's a lot you of think in, in home leagues. You in think home people leagues. are taking Aaron Rodgers over Trevor Lawrence? Correct. Yeah, I think yeah. in home leagues you can I would probably be thrilled. Sneak, do you know what I'm saying? I would though? be thrilled if I get Trevor Lawrence like the tenth quarterback. Drafted. I think you will be shocked this year in some of your leagues. Depend. I mean, you play with a lot of seasoned guys, but I think you would be shocked if you're playing in like newer startup leagues. How late you could probably get Trevor Lawrence? That is so crazy because he's so good. Do you do you disagree with that? No, I, I think that's right, and I think I mean obviously you're playing with a bunch of schmucks, but 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 I think you still could. the name value. The, well, the name value on Dak and uh, Kirk and Aaron Rodgers might just well, make that's that what up. I'm saying. Yeah, maybe even yeah, I don't. The Kirk Cousins fantasy football, it's just not fun. He but here's the thing with Kirk, he you has, don't want to indulge. He, he has Justin, he has Justin Jefferson, and he also has Addison, Addison. So. Maybe he's a little more consistent this this year. I don't know. He also he has all my heart can't he go through his prime time. He also has so Hawkinson too. He has Hawkinson. He let's let Trent talk. Let's let Trent close out the pod talking about Desmond Ritter. Do you have anything you want <laughs> to <laughs> say about Desmond Ritter? Uh, anything else you guys want to do on any rankings you want to? You say? You better be drafting Desmond Ritter in all your super flex leagues, Trent. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, that's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. But I don't have any super flex startup leagues. Is my problem. Like I, they're all. Th- Pretty much all my super flex are dynasty. Are you in the same spot? Trade for him, most Trent. likely, probably. 
trade for him. I'm trying. I'm trying, Seth. I promise. But uh, you want to kick it off with divas? Anything you want to close with there? Uh, actually, we got a little ad read. We got to read here right, for it. underdog. Do you have it? I don't have it. Pulled do you up. do you want me to read the ad read? There? Yeah, Are under, we talking yeah, underdog. Underdog's underdog, just our favorite place to play DFS. We do some best ball drafts. We have a best ball uh, draft coming up here pretty sure. soon. I mean, Seth's showing off his shirt a little bit there. Yeah. Got it's, a hat on the table. It's really the easiest way to play fantasy sports. Draft your team and forget about it. No setting lineups <laughs> or trades. It's the dude's favorite place to play best ball and all kinds of other DFS games. Jordy, did you get on any uh, uh, underdog stuff? Yesterday? yesterday for the ufc fights i did not seth did you get on any no, stuff this not. weekend so it's still our favorite place to play fantasy sports just for what it's worth even I'm though kind of, I, really I, i'm waiting weekend. for football i'm waiting for football right now yeah you're yeah. waiting for football i meant to put something on joey chestnut you know we could have talked about that over the weekend it's i think you would have lost absolutely i think you would have lost yeah he was it was 75 or 70 it was it was it was a, it was a it was the thing above his record or it was like a half below his just, record just and he talk about, got 10 under just talk about joey chestnut going into the elements like making them have that <laughs> competition and everything man i i watched the highlight today because i didn't yeah. watch it and i i saw that he won i saw some videos but i watched the high like the full highlight today yeah and like when they are like hyping these guys up and he's walking out it just seems like the most <laughs> awkward thing about saying like this guy holds this many records he's just walking out and he's like getting amped to you know just destroy 60 i, I hot saw dogs. phil doing the same yeah. thing at the birthday party <laughs> <laughs> I crushed trip, trip, 52 before, tri-tip sandwiches. Trip, this was Phil waiting by the table waiting for the dessert to come out. He's like, yeah. I was getting fired up spazzing. with some yeah. brownies and some yeah. uh, vanilla ice cream. He's starting yeah. to take off his shirt. Dude, yeah. Oh my. Hey, dudes, Who's going to indulge? <laughs> Enter dudes. They will match you up to $100. Really help us out. They got some new DFS games for season long. Yeah, it looks I'm, I'm going to load some some uh, teams when they release that contest. Yep. Do that, it, Jordan. That int- the $15. That would be really fun. Maybe we should do like a, a thing for that. Yeah. A special episode yeah. we could do for yeah. that. All right. So let's get into divas here, guys. Divas for all you new listeners out there. There's just things that tick us off during the week or whatever. And we just, maybe we relate. Maybe we're the diva. So, uh, yeah. So let's do divas. I already gave mine a little earlier. Phil, do you have a diva? I, I don't know. I think you guys may not hear this as much as I do or or, I, or may not bother you as much. I talked to a trend about it a little bit because I was kind of, sometimes I'm just like, you know, I, as as much as I don't trust Trent's opinion, sometimes I like to offer him some some ideas to kind of see what he thinks about things. It really bothers me. And Trent, you agreed with this a little bit, or did you not agree? I can't remember. Uh, Moderately. I sort of agreed. Oh, I think a there's a thing. Way. So I can't stand, and maybe it's like my age and down. When you're talking to someone, having a good conversation, and you say a say a point, and then they just say, "Oh, a hundred percent." Do you know what I'm talking about? I feel like you're stabbing at someone I can like think of. It's himself. It's probably myself. I say it far too much. I don't know. I don't know who you're thinking of. This is so. <laughs> no, but P, I I can't stand it. What happened to the 100%? days? Percent. Yes, exactly. What, what happened to the days when you could just say like, absolutely, you're totally right. Wait, when a man's no, to, word, when I, a dude's word meant something. Yes, I can't just say yes. You're correct. Now you have to throw in a hundred percent because you're not ninety nine percent sure that what he's saying is accurate. You have to say a hundred percent. Like no, you don't have. Not only is that like kind of bother me statistically wise. Like, do you really one hundred percent agree with that every single time statistically? I would say probably not. A hundred percent of the time, you probably don't. 100% well, I think if you say yes that. for sure, that like kind of means like a hundred percent. I like just saying say that. I like they just say that is what I'm saying. I like saying hundred like, percent. Hey, I'm forty five percent right that this is going to happen. Next time someone says a hundred percent to something that i'm i'm saying i will walk away from the conversation it's about as bad as talking about the weather for me i can't stand when people say that and i'm 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 the king of it i always say that jordan will say something that i agree with and i'll be like oh yeah 100 percent." and it's kind of like one of those things where it's so like you i actually think you someone. say this more than anybody else yes exactly and that's the problem i have here's, a problem with my, here's the thing. i have a problem looking at myself in the mirror when i wake up Seth. for more reasons than that <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> anything you publish seth automatically corrects him, itself so phil's trying to correct himself i'm He's trying, trying to, to correct myself Seth, that doesn't bother you just even a little bit? I mean, not really. You got really. bothered by someone driving 55 to enter the freeway, and 100% no, doesn't bother you? No, less than 55, so... That's all I'm saying. Jordan, like you, hear, you hear people saying that all the time, right? Don't say 100% it, either. You hear people it went saying... 100%. <laughs> this, this is going to transfer no, it, into my idea. It doesn't, here. like... I don't know. I never really. I'm switching it up. No. So as soon as as soon as people hear me say this, and as soon as you you've heard me say this, now in your conversations, you're going to hear hear people say that so much more. It is so common. 
I don't know what it is or who started it, but people say it all the time, and I am also doing it. I'm like the chief of saying 100%. <laughs> I always do it. And I so, like the 100% emoji. No, that's 100. That's different. I, I don't know. Same thing. I don't mind it when people say 100%. The thing that always kind of bothers me, I'm not a great... I want to know also who you're talking about, Seth, because I don't. I can't think of who you're talking about. I'll tell about. you after. Okay. I think I know. No, I, I actually think that I text that 100% more than I say it out loud. I Maybe think, I, I, think right. I use it in text. Like if someone says... Like, like the 100 or the 100%. Like if someone says, I'll be like, I 100% agree. Like yeah. I think I use it in text form way more than I say it So like, what would be different loud. if you would just say like, oh yeah, I agree with you? Do you I think, think that I, would get I the think, point across? I don't think I use it that much. I think every time I have used it, though, it's more in text what, text form, you know? What I don't like is when people say, I don't mind 100%, when people say 110%, because I've never understood why people oh, do over more than 100. 100%. Yeah, that, that bothers like, me more. So it bothers you when said, people go over 100. I am yeah, 800% the, sure. You know, like, why? A thousand percent. When people say I'm 110, I'm like, well, yeah. that's just... Yeah, okay, well, that. 50%. Well, it's 110 out here, and I am sick and tired of it. All, all I'm saying is that I don't know when that started or who started it, but I don't think it needs to continue. Like I'm hoping you probably Swift, started it. I don't think I did. I do say it a lot. I have been trying actively Seth to not say it as much. So it just bothers me. All right. Can I just say my diva now? Sure. Or, yeah. Uh, this people, we don't want to mute you. Really we don't want to mute you. The people who use words in, in ways that don't make sense. And I think the number one guy here is Phil. In what way? That really like what's 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 a dumb saying that Phil has like that really what the, the, the grind my, my gears? gears like that one's fine like that's what's, what's one that he says that's no, like but here's the thing bothers, if you, if you hold, 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 exhausting I find it exhausting that, yeah. that is exhausting that you said that and it's like no you know what's exhausting is when you say exhausting not the right <laughs> way no no actually that makes one hundred percent sense as a college graduate it makes I think you tired no, 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 when Jordan yes, says yes, stuff absolutely that it, is exhausting it is mentally exhausting I to have to hear this diva from you to, and I'm exhausted after here that word one hundred Hundred percent. Sorry, makes sense because it doesn't I make think sense. It exhausts you. Than what I'm it doesn't now. exhaust you. It exhausts me having to hear those divas because you absolutely make zero sense. And frankly, I wish we could just mute that mic and make him not talk to us this podcast. If you want to talk about people who don't know how to use 0%. words, if you want to talk about people who don't know how to use words, you didn't know what the number thirteen was fifteen <laughs> minutes ago. You're like uh, number twelve. Are we on number twelve? I'm sorry, number thirteen is a one and a three. So if we want to talk about people who don't know how to use words correctly it might be you and you may need to put a mirror in front of your face before you take a step out in my direction son and you know what mute is mike trent what about the time we had a producer in here and he said mute says mike and he actually muted it yeah, no, stupid. no, no! What you're saying, Seth, yeah, I actually agree stuff. with. But then you came at me with the exhausting. I point. think everyone no. else can agree with you. No, right? no one agrees with you. No, you're not letting. Take off your headphones and walk out of this garage. You shouldn't let them. No, talk. no one agrees with you. I'll mute them too. Feels I like agree that. with what you're saying. No, I agree with what you're saying. People who use words, it's kind of like it's kind of crazy that you're still talking during my <laughs> idea yeah. because it makes no sense. And here's the other thing: if th this is my you know what, you if know people make no sense, let me you're say the type of person. Exhausting. Who deletes their Twitter because they read it too much? And, the, and you're the kind of person who, re, who, who reinstalls it because you can't handle not being on it. So let me just say this: you know what's exhausting when you're trying to get your point across, and the person who disagrees with you does not let you freaking speak. Hey, when you're illogical, we have to shut that down. No, <laughs> yes. no. When you doesn't, when the person doesn't let you speak about your opinion about things. That is what is exhausting. No one wants to be around someone the who continually does exhausting. not let other you people just talk. Use when I want want to hear what the other two people have to say if they agree with my diva or not you are going to let them talk and you're going to sit there so, so which I'm one's your diva your which, one's di which one's your, your diva your mic's muted phil your mic's muted which one's your diva your mic's muted, phil. which one's your diva though which one's your diva the first one about no, using no my diva is you now <laughs> now let me no illogical let's ask our illogical, here. illogical you've now done three divas let no talk. no you've done three divas let them talk you've done three divas and we have four people now we can talk I gave one, Trent gave one, and you gave three. So we have to end the nope. pod now. Nope, you've been illogical. <laughs> the space bar is your mic. Uh, we should put Seth in charge of the soundboard. Yeah, you are being slightly divaish here, Phil. Maybe more than slightly. You suck. Hey, Phil. I would 100% agree with Seth. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Uh, I think you're I'm all exhausted. logical. 
Jordan, you got anything? I, I, or you, I, can't, I, can't I don't think Jordan that, wants so. that smoke. I'm glad <laughs> yeah. I at the beginning yeah, of the no, show. I'll, I'll, I'll dial it up, baby. Give it to me. What are you uh, saying? I'm, I'm good. We're, we're good. Hey, we got a draft, fast food draft coming up this week. Go ahead, check that out, guys. Remember, don't be rude. No, sauce, with the sauce. Dirt. Fast food sauce, sauce draft. There we go. Yes. Yeah, so go ahead and check that out, guys. Remember, don't be rude. Share the dudes. Really helps us out. Squirrel and Bomb. Give us a five-star rating and review. And as always, take care. <laughs> <laughs> this has been another episode of the Fantasy Football Dudes Podcast. Remember to rate, review, and follow. Phil needs to take a bathroom break. For more information, <laughs> go to www.fantasyfootballdudes.com. And remember, we are sorry for absolutely nothing.